Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just doing a little drive with me today because I just, I got to drive my car around because my catalytic converter, something's wrong with it. If y'all know what that is, it's the thing that like filters all the bad particles or whatever. Um, I had to pour some stuff in my gas tank and I just got to drive mad far so that it filters through or whatever. So this check engine light will go off. So like, yay, my life, you know, but y'all know how it is. Make sure that y'all go down and subscribe to my channel. I got some real nice clothing hauls coming up for y'all and everything. So you know how it be. Make sure you go down and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. But I was thinking that today I would probably just head to Henrietta, New York. Yes, I'm from New York, y'all. Just letting you know right now. I'm trying to do like... I'm trying to do like a get to know me video because a lot of you guys that are subscribed to me you don't really know a lot about me but um so leave me some comments down below ask me some questions where I'm from what I'm out here doing maybe what my goals are um where I went to school do I have a degree a boyfriend whatever just don't ask extremely personal questions because chances are I probably won't answer them but any questions just Put them down in the comments because I want I want to I want y'all to know me I want y'all to know me for me so yeah leave me some questions down below that I can answer I can even do some shout outs on that video as well so make sure y'all go and comment down below with some questions but right now I am planning on going to Burlington Coat Factory I'll probably hit up Plato's Closet or something too and then. Um, I might swing over to Webster for a little bit. I got to work later today um, around 4 o'clock. So, yeah, I'm just trying to take y'all with me today on this drive. It's mad nice outside, bro. It's mad nice outside. I'm so ready for today. I got up this morning, did a little bit of praying, and God is good today. I can feel it. He's got some things in the works, and I am ready for it. I'm ready to receive what God has has created for me and yeah I'm just how are y'all doing with this quarantine I know everything's starting to open back up everything's opening back up I know not everything's open fully but I know a couple of restaurants where I live are open back up which is kind of exciting because I know being away from food that type of food for that long is you know it's like withdrawal you know it's like having withdrawals so I know how that can be but yeah how is everybody doing with this quarantine man why these people be stopping so hard man come on now people don't know how to drive but you know we're just out here living um i just haven't really been doing too much i'll tell you right now though this quarantine has done so much for me y'all so so much for me like I I have changed so much and I'm excited. I'm excited to keep growing and to keep changing, keep making moves. Some of my moves are silent. Some people don't even know about the moves I'm trying to make or or only like certain people know. And so yeah, I've really taken this quarantine to go ahead and work on myself. There's no better time to do it I believe if you haven't started already, you can always work on yourself, girl. Or if this is a guy watching, work on yourself, bro. Like, there's always time to do it. Quarantine shouldn't be the excuse. If you've had, you know, you've been wanting to work out, you've been wanting to eat healthy, you've been wanting to save some money or get out and do some different things, whatever. Quarantine is not the only time you can do it. You should always be working on yourself all the time, 25-8, 25-8. It's so important to just take the time for yourself and just to work on yourself because I'm glowing right now. All right, I ain't even trying to sit here and boost myself, but girl, I'm glowing. But yeah, um, yeah, just really taking the time to reevaluate what you've been doing. How useful are you being? Like, what things are you doing that is bringing you peace? What things are you doing that's not bringing you peace? The things that are weakening you, the things that are strengthening you. You really want to start dividing 
those things up and making sure that you're adding more things to your life that are bringing you peace, bringing you happiness, and, and making you feel more content with yourself. And, you know, one thing that has definitely grown in me is my self-confidence over this time. A long time ago, I don't know if y'all knew, but I tried to start a YouTube channel about two years ago, two and a half years ago, probably even three years ago, whatever it was. And I started making videos, but I just wasn't confident and I didn't, I didn't want to be consistent because my confidence wasn't high enough. And you know, that really saddens me when someone doesn't do what they want to do because their confidence is low. Girl or guy, whoever's watching this, listen, dude, just... Be you, be you, okay? All these people out in this world, their opinions do not matter. Honestly, God is the only one that has any type of right to judge me, to judge you. Whether you have a relationship with God or not, I'm just saying other people's opinions do not matter. They don't matter. Love on yourself. Do it for you. If you have no one to do it for, do it for yourself because then all these hating people out here are going to see you and they're going to be like, wow, they're so happy. They look like they're at peace. Let me jump on the wing. Start a chain reaction. Start a domino effect. And you know, if you want some tips to ha for how to like love on yourself, one tip, like one of my number one tips is you will start feeling better about yourself if you start loving on others more. And what I mean by that is start complimenting people more. When you give compliments, they usually give compliments back. And even if they don't, it's such a rewarding feeling to know that you made somebody smile. You made somebody happy. Every single day, you should set a goal for yourself and be like, today, I'm going to make this person happy. I'm going to reach out to someone random. I'm going to comment under somebody's Instagram post and say, you know, you're freaking gorgeous, or, or bro, you, your, your fits are dope, like, you know, like, just boost somebody, boost somebody, you always feel so much better about yourself when you're loving on others, when you are loving on others, that is when you also feel good about yourself, because you can easily accept yourself for someone that is, that is nice, that is kind to others, and, just be honest with yourself be real with yourself too that's another thing like don't go be out here telling yourself you know you can do this you can do that this that and the third be honest be truthful with yourself about the things that you need to work on and the things that need to change in your life because those are the things that matter those are the things that are going to get you to where you want to be in your life you need that growth you need that growth. I don't think I've met one person that has said to me, I haven't changed in 10 years. Well, honey, I hate to break it to you, but you've changed since yesterday, okay? Every day we are changing in some way, shape, or form, whether you see it or not. That's just how the human race is. That's just how we work. That's how we roll. We're aging. We're seeing new things out in the world every day that we step outside we're our eyes are picking up on things that are new whether it whether it actually goes to your brain and you think about it um that's whatever but every day you're picking up on something new whether you realize it or not which i just think that's amazing like there's so many things to see out here in this world and that's another thing too guys is one of my goals in life is really to go out and see the world go out and travel like I would more than anything love to be an evangelist and I can talk about that more but yeah like I said make sure that you guys are leaving some comments down below for me if you want to know some more stuff about me who I am what I represent and the things that I stand for I can give you guys honest opinions on things, relationship advice. I can do a girl talk. If you want me to do a girl talk, comment that down below, but ask me questions. What are some things that you girls want to know? It could be about other girls, friendships, relationships. I can split it up into two videos. Just drop 
multiple comments. Just If you're just one person and you have four questions, drop all four questions, honey. Drop all four questions. If you're a guy and you want to hear a girl's perspective, if you're having trouble maybe with a friendship with a girl or a relationship with a girl, you want to hear my perspective, drop some comments down below and I will definitely make a video about that. I'm kind of thirsty. Let me get this drink though. If y'all want to know what's in my thermal right now, it's a protein shake, and I'm going to put you on right now. Go out and buy you some protein powder, chocolate protein powder. You got to put eight ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I say unsweetened because it's already going to be sweet enough when you mix all the other things in, but do eight ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk and then do about I actually grab like a legitimate tablespoon and scoop peanut butter one scoop of peanut butter a pretty decent size put that in the blender as well and then I grab some cut up frozen bananas or you can just cut up a regular thawed banana and put some ice in there with it one scoop of the chocolate protein powder blend it up and girl or boy you know this is so good yeah I'm gonna keep driving and I don't know if any of y'all were wondering like where my earrings are from my glasses my necklace like this drip around my neck um, I've been buying a lot more jewelry from Shein. If you guys go and watch some of my videos, I am going to have a lookbook coming for you guys. I told y'all I'm trying to work on my girly side because I dress like a tomboy. Like today, I got biker shorts on. I got my champion t-shirt on. And I have Vans on with some socks from Shein. If I get a picture or video of... Um, my outfit from today I can definitely show you guys what my outfit looks like for today but these glasses are actually from the Dollar Tree yes these were featured in one of my Dollar Tree hauls I believe it might have been part two if you guys want to go and watch that somewhere on my channel um, these earrings these plain hoop earrings were a dollar from Shein. i love these earrings they have the cheapest jewelry my little cross earrings i don't know if you can see them these are also from Shein. they were also a dollar i just love their accessories i also got this necklace that says 19.99 this is also from Shein, along with the gold chain that's around my neck as well that is also from Shein. so I just have a lot of accessories and stuff. I have a pair of white socks that have flames on them on that are from Shein. But like I said, I'll show you guys a picture of my outfit or a video of my outfit uh, when I get to Burlington. If I can find a mirror or something, I can show you guys like what it's looking like or whatever. But yes, yes. But leave some comments down below. I want to know how you guys are doing. Like. Let me know how you guys are thriving and striving out here during this quarantine. I don't know if y'all knew, but your girl picked up a second job. And like, I prayed on it. So I knew that that's what God wanted me to do because financially I had been struggling. Um, and I just really needed something that was going to boost my financials a little bit more. Even if it was only a couple extra hundred dollars. So... I just went ahead and picked up a second job. I'm literally about to be going and finishing my last semester for school. Um, I do attend a two year college and my degree is marketing. I, I love marketing. It's a really good thing to get into a great degree to have. A lot of jobs are looking for people that know how to put their brand out there, put their items out there. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you go do that. I do a lot of um, 
like marketing type things for certain brands like Shein and stuff like that. I haven't been sponsored because my channel is not at enough subscribers and stuff yet. So make sure y'all are subscribing. Help a girl out. I do subscribe to people that subscribe to me. I do respond to comments. I don't just leave y'all hanging. I don't care how many of you guys comment. I will respond to you. And yeah, I will show you guys some love. If you're going to show me some love, I'm going to show you some love. I'm going to make sure that y'all always feel loved on this channel. And I will tell y'all right now, I love you. There you go. I love all of you. And I thank you so much for, for watching my videos and supporting me and everything like that. Um, but yeah, we're almost there. I think I still have like 15 minutes until I get there. Few moments later. All right, y'all. So if you couldn't see outside my window, I made it to Burlington. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna show you guys my fit and stuff like that. And. Yeah, we about to go in here and look around for a little bit. I don't s plan on spending money. Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. All right, y'all. So we made it in Burlington. And obviously because of COVID and stuff, there's not like a lot of stuff in here. But I'm still looking around, seeing if I can find some cute stuff. And already I found like some sandals that I really like. There's also um, some clear heels, but these are what the sandals look like. They're by Union Bay. They just look like this. I'm thinking about getting them. They're only 15 bucks. I've been looking for some real cute sandals, some cute heels. Um, they got some clear heels that I'm about to try and look at, but I think I'm gonna grab a cart so I can um, start filling that up, if you know what I'm saying. Alright y'all, so I just found this real cute dress. I'm going to show you what it looked like. But it looks like this. It's tight fitted and has slits on both sides at the bottom. And I just think that it would be real cute with the clear heels or... I don't know, maybe even the sandals. I'm not really sure, but I love this dress. It's so cute. I'm going to get it in a size small. No, actually, I'm going to get it in a medium. Just because it looks like it's real tight fitted. I don't want it to be too tight fitted. So, yeah. We're going to get it. Y'all, I just found these mad cute snake skin printed boots. That are from, I think, like, I don't even know, like... Chinese and Chinese Laundry, Los Angeles. They're literally these. They're $10. $10. And they're my size. Like, yeah. I'm getting those 10 bucks. Of course I'm about to get those. I'm not passing those up for $10. That's ridiculous. So far, this is everything that I have in my cart. I got these sandals, these loafers right here. And then I got this pink dress, these, I got these shoes. Isn't that cute? They have so many cute bags, y'all. Looks like they just got a whole bunch in, new in stock. They got some guest bags, they got Juicy Couture. Um, yeah, they got Steve Madden. They have a whole bunch of cute bags here. This is why I like Burlington. They got some wallets over here, too. These cute little wallets, $10. So cute. So fresh and cute for the springtime. Listen, y'all. This bag is $34. $34, original price. 178 this is mine i'm snatching this i claim it it's mine i don't own a michael kors and i want one it's 34.99 i'm not passing that up it's real cute i love this bag i'm about to fall in love with it already it's got the little pouch right here the zipper pocket the bigger pocket right there i'm ready y'all i'm ready so i found some of their other bags over here 
and I seen that Juicy Couture bag. It's only $27.99. I'm really contemplating it. It's the only one over here. I just love the color of it. It's mad nice. I'm really thinking about it, y'all. I'm really thinking about it. Comment down below if you think that I should get it. I'll put it in my cart. But comment down below if y'all think I should got this bag. It's got the little heart on it and everything. $27.99. I love this bag. Y'all know I'm starting to get obsessed with my bag. Y'all, I'm really finding so many cute things around here. And it's just real nice. And I'm loving a lot of the stuff in here. Even though there's not a lot, I'm still finding a lot. And I'm really just ready for this. Oh yeah, look, I found a mirror, y'all. You can see my outfit. The fit for today, y'all. I got the champion shirt. I got the bling from Shein. My hair like this. I could do a, a hair tutorial for y'all on how I did this. It was quick, took me about 15 minutes. Biker shorts, Shein socks. And my Vans, my old school checker print Vans. But this is the fit for today. My case is also from Shein, y'all. It was like $2. But, and Pink sent me this mask in the mail. All right, Cheryl. So, I spent some money. I spent some money. But you know what? Burlington is hands down, like, on my top five places to get cheap stuff. Because there was literally... Literally, there was a dress on sale for $2.99. Like, can we just stop and think about that real quick? $2.99 for a dress. Like, y'all are going to see a haul because I got shoes, I got a bag, I got clothes. Like, you guys saw some of the stuff already, but I'm definitely about to show you guys some more stuff definitely stay tuned for that i am going to put my seatbelt on first of all safety first y'all safety first but i'm gonna get going and go over to plato's closet um i go to the one here in henrietta every so often because the one that's closer to my house um, it gets old every so often because sometimes you go in there and they just have the same stuff Even though people bring in different stuff all the time I just like to go to different areas to see what other people have um, I like seeing different things every now and then But yeah, I'm gonna go over to Plato's Closet and take a look I'm super excited because your girl finally got a Michael Kors purse Like yes, I was just saying the other day that I really wanted to get a Michael Kors bag and I finally got one and um yeah like saving my money is a struggle I still got some money left don't worry I got money left but um you know what you I because I've been working so hard I just feel like I deserve to spoil myself every once in a while so that's what I did I spoiled myself and we deserve that and you know what that's another self-confidence thing you know if you start working hard for yourself you know that you've been working hard give yourself a break you know I'm sorry I didn't realize my camera fell but give yourself a break everybody deserves a break give yourself some time of day like take time out of your day for yourself it is crucial to do that it is crucial to do that make sure that you guys are taking that time out of your day Ooh, i don't even know where i'm going taking that time out of your day and making sure that you take care of yourself that might mean boost yourself up spend some money do i don't even know I like retail therapy, that's my thing. I know it's bad, I'm trying to break the habit, but you know, whatever. Good news, y'all, good news. My check engine light shut off. My check engine light shut off, y'all. It shut off, we're good to go. I don't have to worry anymore. All right, y'all, so I'm at Plato's Closet. I finally arrived. Um, it really wasn't even that far away. There it is right there. 
It was literally like five minutes down the road from Burlington. I'm not gonna film while I'm in here just because I know there's a lot of people in here and it is a small area. So I'm just gonna go about my business, make sure I'm not getting in anybody's way. But if I do end up getting anything from here, I will show you guys. There'll be like a haul or something uh, following this video or something like that. So just stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'm about to go in here and see what Plato's Closet has. All right, y'all, so I'm finally done at Play-Doh's. I did end up getting like a couple pairs of like flowy pants. I found this really cute off-white cream-colored bag um, as well to go with a couple of the outfits. Um, I wanted to buy some more like church attire. Like I don't dress up too much for church, but like I wanted more flowy pants and stuff like that. Kind of touching with my uh, girly side a little bit but I will be showing you everything that I got for today. All right, y'all. So I finally made it to where I was going. Um, I'm in Webster right now and I'm at Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm currently waiting for my boyfriend to get out of work. All right, y'all. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a try on haul or something but i'm gonna do it in a separate video so definitely stay tuned for me to drop like a burlington slash plato's closet try on haul type deal um i got two bags i got some shoes that you guys saw earlier in the video and i also got um some clothes more dressy clothes so definitely stay tuned for that and yeah um I hope that everybody's day is going good. I actually think this is where I'm going to end this video. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for 500 subscribers. We are on our way to 600 and it might even be at 600 by the time that I drop this video. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you go down and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on that post notification bell so that you're notified when I post any new videos. And again, Thank you so much for supporting me. You guys are a part of me. I love you guys so, so much. Stay blessed.